Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm checking out Mike Mangini. Now, you can argue as to who was better in Dream Theater. Mike Portnoy, Mike Mangini. That's up to you, but we're not here to discuss that today. We're here to discuss Mike Mangini and what an amazing drummer he is. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, let's get straight into this video. If you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you never miss another video. Quite a few of you are watching me and are not subscribed at the minute. Please subscribe. It helps me out. You don't want to be my friend? No? No? Fine, just watch my video and enjoy it with me. Let's get into this one. It's a drum solo from Mike Mangini. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I really am. Start already. This kit set up. Nice old demon drive there. The product I knew than this one. Am I the only one thinking, why is he wearing safety glasses? <laughs> Seriously? He's that good, he scares himself, he has to wear health and safety goggles. <laughs> oh dear, I've got to stop it with these crap jokes. How's he playing the cowbell? Now, see, in my last video, Thomas Lang was doing something similar, but with way more pedals happening. I, I Am I missing something? Should I be doing this on one of my tracks at some stage? I don't think I could actually um, cope with doing it. As I mentioned in the uh, Thomas Lang video, I actually struggle with a double bass drum pedal and a hi-hat. You know, this coordination level is uh, way beyond me. <laughs> It's always good when you've got a drum solo that actually has some groove. Such a weird place to put octobombs, but it works. Oh, nice rhythm change up. Last one. I'm trying to count. What? His eyes are always like five steps ahead of wherever he's going to hit. Like when he's going for the octobans, try and keep an eye on him. He actually looks up and then goes for them. Such a big kit, but in some ways a bit smaller than port noise usually that floor tom sounds killer <laughs> Thank you. 
Samba Riven. Whilst keeping a pulse. I'm telling you now, I'd struggle playing that. My independence is um, not that great. Feet, please. Can I see those feet, please? I need a foot cam. I'm stopping that there for one second because I've got a feeling we're getting to the uh, the big bit. And after what I've just witnessed, the big bit is should be pretty immense in the drum solo because, um, you know, drum solos are stereotypically boring to some unless you're a drummer. But when you can keep it musical like this and just keep it gradually elevating upwards right up until you go crazy, that is a great technique you know some people i've been guilty of it you know if ever you get the opportunity to do a drum fill you just throw it all out there in, in like the first few seconds and that's just not the way to do it you need to do a drum solo that's musical whilst creative and showing your your passion for the kit you know your love for the instrument like this guy i don't think is ever off the drum kit by the sound of things you know from watching a couple of his um facebook videos recently and the guy the guy is just literally a master of the instrument but still acts like he's a student and i suppose you are forever learning with any musical instrument what you touch but literally i could not comprehend half the stuff he's doing in this i'm a straightforward rock metal player the stuff he's doing here is literally out of this world you know i i would love to have seen mike portnoy do something like this but this is another level and i'm sorry portnoy fans i'm one of them okay but you cannot deny this guy was the right replacement for dream theater by a long shot you know if, if if you haven't watched the audition tapes for when they were looking for a new drummer for dream theater there were some amazing drummers that were coming through but this guy you can see why they've picked him he is amazing absolutely outstanding anyway i'm going to shut up for a minute and finish this drum solo off the, i'm hoping this is going to get even better Hit the microphone then, I saw that. What? There it is, he fixed it. <laughs> what the heck? Sound guy's best friend. <laughs> That's why he's got the safety goggles on, just in case he kills himself, see? This is Thomas Lang-esque. Nah. I would have at least clicked the sticks together a few times trying to pull that off. Ah! 
Had a gradual slowdown as well with it. Oh. Yet again, another video where I am speechless at the end of it. You know, if you haven't watched my Thomas Lang one yet, I'll put a link in up here or over here, wherever YouTube lets me do it. I'm still learning with all this stuff. But yeah, Mike Mangini, a god. You are a god, sir. Just like Thomas Lang, you are now officially in my top tier Hall of Fame of all drummers, you are insane. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I'm gonna end it there because I'll just keep blabbering on about how good he is, and you've just witnessed how good he is. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss another video. Quite a few of you out there haven't subscribed yet, so please help me out also got a patreon and a paypal donation button if you feel generous the patreon will give you access to a discord chat where we can just chat about drums you can tell me off that i'm not doing certain things in videos you know feel free in the comments as well if you want me to try and get a bit more creative with you know doing a couple more videos where i'm actually playing the drums instead let me know tell me i'll try and do my best to actually film i have a very small room a very small setup can't play the full big kit in here but i can play the electronic drum kit in here I'm, i am planning on doing a couple of like drum covers eventually um but we'll get to that at some point but thanks for watching take care i'll see you on the next one